So I wake up this morning, walk outside to find this laying in the grass. Apparently, the landscaper decided to chop this off along with the grass ahead of the tropical storm. Now, I don't even know what that is. What I do know is it comes off my AC unit. And I also know I'm not going to get an AC or plumbing expert here ahead of the tropical storm. I got to get this thing fixed because what this is could become a lot worse. So I run to the local Ace Hardware store, and me and an expert there configured this. Now, all I have to do is dig under the ground, stick this thing in, problem solved, which got me thinking about the stock market. Now, there are stocks out there that we buy that go the wrong way. Is there a solution to fixing stocks that does not require a lot of cost? Well, yes, there is, and I'm going to show you how to fix a stock for literally no cost right now. Hey, everyone, Tom Gentile. Welcome to Tom's Trading Room, where in this video, I'm not going to show you how to fix your plumbing or your AC, but I'm going to show you how to fix a losing stock position. All right. Hey, do me a favor right now. Help our channel out by hitting the like button below and subscribing and dinging the notification bell will allow you to receive these videos as soon as they're uploaded. So let's go ahead and talk about the fact that the markets could be up, but there are some stocks in your portfolio that could be down. How can we fix these without adding any extra money to the trade? And before I get into that, let me get into this. The disclaimer you see on the screen, just hit pause on this if you want to read it in its entirety. Um, I will say this, however, uh, number one, Stock and options trading does have large potential rewards, but it also has large potential risk. And number two, I'm not your investment advisor. I'm not your money manager, but I'm here to show you how it is that I navigate these markets. And in this case, fix losing positions. So here's where I want to get started. Now, let's talk about a, a losing position and how to fix a losing stock position. I went out and I found one stock that just, you know, you would think it would be doing really well in this economy, but it's not. I'm going to share that stock with you as well as how to fix it. But there are a couple of different ways that we can fix losing positions. Number one, the religious approach. That's where we get down on our knees and we pray and we say, God, can you please just give me that trade back? Get that. If that stock could only go up, I'll never do it again. All right. That's one way to fix a losing position. Probably not the best way. Number two would be to double down on the trade, where you bought it at a higher price, you could buy it at a lower price uh, and average in. That's going to cost a lot of money. Number three is a fixed approach I want to share with you. So let's talk about all three. There's number one, the religious approach. I'm not even going to go there. All right. If you really get into that position, you should never be in the trade in the first place. But a lot of folks have done the, the, the position where they double down. All right. Number two. And Take a look at Dollar Tree, for instance. Dollar Tree is a stock that earlier this year was at $120. Let's say we bought it at $110. We saw it go up to $120 and it come right back down and traded down below $100. So stocks below $100 right now, what do we do? We could, again, hold it. We could double down. We could fix it. Let's look at the double down strategy. So if we double down, that is where we go in, and if we own 100 shares, we could at the, the higher price, we could buy another 100 shares at the lower price, thereby averaging down our trade. It does add more cost to the trade. It does add more risk to the trade. For instance, if we took our 100 shares of Dollar Tree and we were to then take that $110 price, right? stock goes down, and then we add in uh, if it falls to 100, we then buy another 100 shares at $100 a share. Now what we've done is we've lowered our average cost. But what does that do to the trade? Well, it does this. Depending on where Dollar Tree is going to trade in the future, you could see that if we go back to 110, we'd be at a profit of $1,000. Because again, now we have 200 shares of stock with a break even of 105, right? We go to 120, that's a $3,000 open position profit potential. But if we drop, we're now going to be dropping at $200 per point instead of the original $100 a point uh, with the stock that we owned originally. Again, 
You own 100 shares at 110. You own 100 shares at 100. And now we're moving up and down at twice the speed. So is there a better way to do this? There is an option trade that you can take that allows you to mimic this particular setup here, but without any cost or additional risk. The trade is actually um, a trade called a ratio spread. With this ratio spread, we can lower our break even. We can do it without increasing the risk. We can also do it without spending additional cash. I call it a repair strategy. But you have to believe the stock's going to rebound just is as if you were buying the additional 100 shares of stock if you were doubling down, right? So it looks like this. Again, take a look at the stock once again. In this case, the stock, we bought 100 shares at 110, and now it's down below 100. In this case, we're going to use the fix-it strategy using options. So to fix that long stock, what we're looking at doing, stock's going to drop. We're going to buy an at-the-money call option. That's a call option where the stock price is right now. We're then going to sell two out-of-the-money calls. Now, this is done for every 100 shares of stock that you own. So assuming we own 100 shares of Dollar Tree at 110, and it's at just below 100, I'm looking at buying the 100 call and selling two of the 110 calls where we originally bought the stock. From there... What we've done is we've done this for basically break even or maybe even a small credit. So here's what it looks like right now uh, as of this video I pulled up. And this is the January 21, 2022 options. These are the options that go out in January, uh, January of 2022. Now, remember, Dollar Tree was trading around 100, uh, you know, that 110 back at the beginning of the year. So for six months, this stock has gone from 110 to 120, now back down to 100. So I'm looking at options that are six months out. The 100 calls with the, the January 21st, 2022 expiration are trading around $8. Look at the 110 calls, 405. So if we were to be able to buy the 100 calls, drop down, we buy that stock, that 100 strike, and then we go in and sell the 110 strike, what we're doing is we are putting a trade on that costs zero. Buy the 100s for eight, that's one call for $8. Again, we sell two of the 110 calls for $4 a piece. So we're spending eight on the options we're buying, we're bringing in four times two, that's eight on the options we sell. And what we have is a position now where we've got, if the stock goes up, we're making money back on the Dollar Tree stock that we own. We're also going to make money on the 100 calls that we own, right? If we go above 110, what's going to end up happening is the 100 calls and the stock that we own are going to be limited in, in return by the calls that we shorted. We will not lose money above 110. We just won't make any more. But think about this. A lot of you that buy a stock and it goes down, what are you thinking? If it just get back to break even, I would be happy. In this case, if the stock got back to 110, not only would we, we be breaking even on the stock that we originally purchased, but we would be making money, 10 points actually, on the option trade that we put together, that in the event that the stock slowly came back, we can make money. Now, the downside is, we're going to lose money on the trade, but we would lose no more than the original amount we put into the stock. Again, the trade is called a ratio spread, and a ratio spread on its own has unlimited risk, but trading it with the stock that you originally own, it's like putting on a bull call spread and a covered call at the same time. So in summary, the ratio spread can fix your long stock position right? The sell side options should pay for the buy side options. When you take those two cells, you should be able to pay for the one position that you're long. And as always, again, if you don't believe the stock's going to rebound, the best thing to do is simply exit the trade.